Hey, Daryl Rhodes with Watt Pond. Here we are at a pond infested with weeds. We did a lot of, a lot of, a lot of uh, weeding and breaking everything out. Got a lot of it out. And now we're gonna install our lake blankets. Let me show you how they go. They come folded, all folded up, ready to go. All the pleats are like on one side, so that's cool. Get end caps. <laughs> end caps to protect the. Uh... <laughs> Red things on. 3A3 bar is what's going to hold the blanket to the bottom of the pond. And each place where it is, it'll touch the bottom. In between, three bar sections the blanket will lift and allow the little st creatures to be uh, alive on there instead of just putting something heavy on and totally killing the bottom of the pond. There's also pre-cut holes in the blanket for the gases to escape so you don't see the blanket floating up in the water like some do. So our 3A3 bar, that's something you got to get local. Comes with these little black rubber end caps. You gotta pop them on. That protects the tarp, the tarp, the liner. So, because you got burrs on here, instead of grinding them all nice and round, put the end caps on and just slide them in. And I just got one in. So we got uh, 19 to go. And watch how we do it. But I mean, it's just threading the needle easily. Now it's starting on the bottom. We'll go to the next one. It's not gonna close. Pop it open. Get it started. And slider too. Just like that. Get it in there and then tighten up the wire tie so it won't slide out. And then, oh, I got the wrong end. We'll show you the other end. They're actually folded over and sewn so that you don't have to wire tie both ends. One, two. So careful when you get it out of your box or your bag that you don't totally unfold it. You just want to get it to the where you have these pleats all on one end of the so you can easily line them up and get them in there. Go. And whoop, come with the clip installed so you don't really tear it apart too fast too quick and end up with a mess so with all the pleats strewn about so take your time lay it out and get everything installed and then we'll show you how we get it on the boat and get it out in the water okay the three bar in got tied off tying the ropes on typically I'm doing it backwards because it's a shallow pond. So I'm putting a short rope is gonna go out with me in the boat. And then we'll tie the little buoys on so we know where the end of the blanket is. And I tied the longer rope on the other, the other end of the stack of pleats here. And that will anchor on shore so we can get out there a ways then we can move it back and forth when we need to. So the idea is we're gonna leave it on three to four weeks to kill the weeds. Just setting up the next one. So I'm gonna pull this out. The white side's gonna be up. We'll be able to see it in the pond. We're doing that so when they install the fountain, they'll know they'll be right over top of these blankets so they're not 
sucking up all the weeds and algae that's been creating problems for the fountain. Once we get that area cleared out, we'll probably flip them over and use the black side to pull them out. So really, when you're on shore, ready to go out into the water, whichever one you grab first. If you grab this one and the white's up, the white will be up in the pond. If you grab the bottom, you pull off the bottom, you'll end up with the black on the bottom of the pond. I gotta get that to go that way. That's stuck a shovel in the ground, so when I start pulling this out with the boat, I don't pull the whole thing in. And that'll give my helper time to put the camera down, hold the rope until we get out to the right location. So that's the only part you'll probably miss. So let's go get the boat, get it over here. And uh, the blankets do come with a DVD to show you everything all over again. I just wanted to show you how I'm doing it. Maybe it's a little different, and we'll see how it works. We'll be back. So our first attempt. Yeah, that's not be interesting. Our first attempt. I'm gonna have to keep it on the uh, boat. So it doesn't uh, just sink right in and dive underneath all everything. Whoa! My rope!
Okay. That's about it.